Welcome back to Etching 101. Uh, today we're going to go over how to put your uh, etching copper etching plate into the acid and actually etch it. got our plate here that's been uh, coated with our hard ground and the back has this contact paper on it and if the contact paper um, has gotten kind of saturated with um, hard ground and or it's peeling then what you'll want to do is actually pull off the old paper or plastic um, and apply either contact paper um, in a sheet and or use uh, some clear packing tape and that will just um, coat the back with the clear packing tape and that will prevent any acid from getting in under those areas. And then before we put it in the acid bath, what we want to do is make sure that because the bath is a vertical bath, the plate is going to be hanging in the acid vertically. Um, or horizontally, but either way, it's not laying flat. So we're going to be dropping it in like this. And what we need to do is put a hanger on the back so that we don't have to reach in and grab it, but we can actually just pull it right out um, from the acid. And the easiest way to do that is just to use clear packing tape. So I just pull a length of the packing tape, attach it, adhere it to the back of the plate, um, once the new backing's on, and then drop it into the, you're ready to drop it into the acid. And then we'll go and check out how to do that. So I am in the acid room here to put my plate, my copper etching plate, into the vertical acid etching bath. And a couple things first before we um, actually put it into the bath. We want to uh, make sure that we have something that's going to be able to pull this out with. You could use your hands with rubber gloves, as long as the rubber gloves were long enough that you could put your hand, reach your hand in and pull it out. Um, you could use a uh, horizontal etching tray, but with the way that the copper, um, copper etching solution, the ferric chloride works, it, uh, is better if it's a vertical tank. So that's why we're gonna be using this one today. But I, I'll talk about the, the differences. Um, so in order to fish it out, as it were, I'm gonna use some plastic tape, just some packing tape, and attach it to the back. Put the tape. Long enough that it's going to be able to be pulled out and then I'm going to make a little holder for it. So before I put the plate in the acid, I want to kind of mix up the acid because it settles being in a vertical tank. So I'm going to take this off and I keep a little stir stick. I'm just going to stir this. Kind of get the juices flowing. Then I'll rinse it in the sink. So the nice thing is that this type of acid is water, basically soluble, so you can wash it off your hands, you can wash it off of anything uh, with just water. And then we're going to time our, um, the plate being in the acid, based on how deep we want the etch to be. And if you're using a hard ground, 
then I would say minimum 15 minutes and maximum probably 45 minutes. Um, you can get a much deeper line the longer you leave it in, but that also could start to false bite the, um, the hard ground. And if you're using like an aqua tint or something that's really, or a soft ground that's a lot less coverage, then definitely a little bit less time. But experimentation really works and you can always put it back in the acid. If you bring it out, I'll show you how to test the depth of the etch and you can always put it back in. Um, but once it kind of bites too much, it's really hard. You could burnish um, the lines back, but it's really hard to get them back. So we're just going to drop the plate into the bath. So now we'll wait about 20 minutes and we'll test it and see if it's deep enough. So now it's time to pull out the plate and I actually wound up leaving it in here for an hour. Um, so let me just grab it, pull it up, and I'll let it drip, drippy drip, back in there. Bring it to the sink and then just rinse it off. And then I usually blot it on a paper towel or newsprint. So I've got this paper towel. Blot both sides. A lot of the acid came in there, so I'll have to take that off. So it doesn't keep etching. And then we're ready to test. And then when we're done uh, with our bath, we want to put the lid back on so that the uh, acid doesn't evaporate. And you can use rubber gloves, like I said, you can wear an apron, but it's not super necessary unless you want to protect your clothes from getting uh, stained. Uh, it's not going to like sizzle a hole through you. The spirit chloride is very mild. Um, it does eat through copper though, so there is that. <laughs> You can see that it actually, in fact, throw that away, where the acid got into it, it actually created an open bite. So it actually did bite uh, and etch that part, which is actually kind of cool. I mean, even though it wasn't intentional, it's still kind of nice. So you clean off the back of your plate after you've pulled off the backing. You don't want to print with the backing on it. You want to make sure that you clean all this off, clean everything off uh, before we go to print. And then we'll clean this off. So when you're ready to test the depth of your uh, etch, you want to take an etching needle and just slide it over to the uh, from the hard ground to your um, line and if you can feel you know it's not moving the groove is holding the needle then you've got a nice good uh, etch if it just kind of glides right over or you can't when you wiggle it it just slides around then that means that your etch hasn't been isn't deep enough, so it hasn't been in the acid long enough. And in that case, you don't have to clean it off and start again. You just put this right back in the acid 
And if any areas like this, for instance, have flaked off, before you put it back in, you could just reapply some hard ground uh, to that area. So when you're ready to uh, remove the asphaltum or the hard ground, then you just use mineral spirits or turpentine, um, some kind of solvent. The odorless mineral spirits works really well and just a cloth or paper towel and clean it off. And then you'll be ready to ink and print the plate.